Hi everybody, this is Tony Beers and I'm joined with Jason Case, Russ, Jay. And this is Movie Grades and in this Movie Grades we are going to be discussing Star Wars The Last Jedi. And this is a special episode because this is our 500th uh, Toxic Top Pop video. Woo! Uh, hey, we made it to 500, how about that? <laughs> so, we are just beginning, folks. <laughs> I'll begin and I'll describe the plot. So basically, this takes place almost exactly right after Force Awakens. And this movie is basically a, a, a giant chase scene, basically. is the First Order or after what's left of the Resistance. In the meantime, Rey has gone to find Luke Skywalker. As of course, as we know, at the end of Force Awakens, she did find him. So she's trying to bring him back to help fight with the Resistance. We'll start with you, Jay. What did you think of the movie? <laughs> I thought I thought it was pretty good. I, I mean, I was just we were just talking about this. I thought it was a little different Star Wars movie. It had the Star Wars feel to it, but it was different in a way. Yeah. I think I think a lot of people and, and us, including in some of our video or our video about the Force Awakens, we talked about it was you know similar to a, uh, the A New Hope. This one, I did. There was some similarities with Empire, but it wasn't as much right. as, like, say, the Force Awakens had with the New Hope, which I did enjoy that. Mm -hmm. But um, in in a lot of ways, this was a different Star Wars movie. Right. That's about the best way I can explain it. Um, a lot of things I did like about. There was a few things I didn't care about, but you know, or why well, I should say I didn't care about. I thought they could have had a little bit less of. Um, Laura Dern's role. I mean, I think she did a good job in that. I mean, I I, I didn't know what her role I, I'll was. I have to disagree with that. We'll no, no, I meant for that. what they gave her. I thought okay. she did a decent job. I, I'm not okay. saying it was the whole movie. Mm -hmm. Um, the the one the one girl, the newcomer, um, Rose. The, Rose. Uh, she did okay. Mm -hmm. Um, her and Finn were kind of, I don't know. I don't think they had the, quite the chemistry that Daisy Ridley and him had in the mm. first one. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's just because she's new, and I'm trying to get a feel for her. Because right. you know, she she comes, she just like appears like right. in that stuff. You know, um, I thought um, I I might as well say this. I, being a Star Wars fan, Luke Skywalker was one of my favorite characters of the whole thing. Yeah. Um, this was a different version of him in a lot of ways. Russ, okay. you probably disagree with me, but I don't know. Actually, um, I think he does agree. Well, you do agree with me? I think, here's the thing, I think it was different in a way, but when, when Mark Hamill said it's not his Luke Skywalker, no, I very much disagree with that. I saw it as more of uh, Luke Skywalker becoming very jaded over time based mm -hmm. on all the experience. Like when he said, this is not going to go the way you think. We, in fact, when I first heard that in the trailer, I was reminded of, and I even said this to Jay, how I interpreted it, you know, at the end of Return of the Jedi, you see them all celebrating the end of the Empire, Things did not go as smoothly as they, as they expected, and now he's all bitter and jaded over it. And to yeah. me, that makes perfect sense with him. Uh, I, I can see your point on that. I, but, but yeah. I, I mean, there's been a lot of backlash about it. And we, oh, yeah. you know, obviously, a I'm lot of people were, I don't know, pissed or disappointed <laughs> at yeah. certain things. I mean, like I said, I, my brother had a conversation oh, yeah. with me about it. He was all in an uproar about, you know, I'm not going to give the spoilers away. We will get into those. But, um,. I thought Luke Skywalker, in, in in going with what you said, he, he's like a hermit right now yeah. in this movie. I, I think he's down. Right. I think he's secluded <laughs> himself. Yeah. Yoda and Obi Wan no, did that. They did yeah, that they did well that too, too, but they weren't as whiny and cowardly. <laughs> well, no, I mean they weren't as blatant well, about it. Well, the Does thing, that make sense? The thing with well, okay. Yoda, I don't know about Yoda's story because I think he was more towards Palpatine. But we know with uh, Obi-Wan, he had a failed student and that's how Luke felt about Kylo. Yeah. Like it was another failed student. It was like yeah, Anakin, Obi, Kylo. It was like, it was the same parallel. It was very similar. I, I, I can get, see your point on that, but I think a lot of the difference between the Obi-Wan and the Luke deal was Luke had all that history to go by. Obi Wan didn't. Does that make sense? Like the only thing Obi Wan learned was that Anakin turned his, into Darth Vader. Luke had the knowledge of that. He had the knowledge of Palpatine. He had the knowledge of all those things going on beforehand. Well, actually, so Luke, he sensed right away well, what was Luke, going on with Luke, Kylo Ren from all that knowledge before. We don't, 
we've learned all these things, and, and like I said, Luke has a knowledge of all those things that happened before, so I think... So you think he, he should have known better, is that what you're saying? I think he, in a way, yeah, because he's already had all that knowledge beforehand. I think, like, he, like when they showed the scene with him and Kylo Ren, or while well, he wasn't Kylo Ren yet, Ben Solo. Ben Solo, yeah. where he had the lightsaber, and then he looked at him and said, you know, I can't do this yeah. kind of thing. But he had that look. Like, if you looked at Luke's yeah. face, it looked like the dark side took over in him for a minute. But that in that scene, that was Kylo Ren's version yeah. of that scene. Yeah. So if you, but when Luke retells it, you look at it again, it's a totally it's a different totally look. look. Like, it's, totally, well, it's a totally different look, look on his face. Look face, yeah, you're right. So, and like, what, what's that point of view thing? Yeah, that, that, exactly. That's always in the, in the, it seems to come around in the right. Star Wars yeah. universe. Um, I did, like I said, I, I thought this was a different story of Star Wars, which I did enjoy a little little bit. It, and, and getting away from the nostalgic part of the other one, I, I, think, I think I can see why they have to go in a different direction, like you guys were saying. Mm -hmm. um, but I think some people are just... Stuck yeah. on them, old times. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Nostalgia. This is what I was raised on. You yeah, know? this is what, and, and it's hard for change. That, you know, that, you know, it's it's funny you bring that up because I'm usually that one. It's like, don't mess with what I with my past. Don't yeah. don't mess don't with mess with my, my inner childhood. My, yeah, my yeah. childhood. That's the way I liked it. But I don't know. For some reason, I'm just more accepting of this. So for some reason, I'm yeah. like. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I mean, I, I liked it too, but I think a, a lot of that started for me was Han Solo getting killed yeah. in the first in, in episode seven. Right. Because I told you, I cried. I right. cried like a baby every time. I knew it was coming. I still cried. That's how emotionally attached I am to those movies. Yeah. So when, well, I might as well say it. When it happens to Luke Skywalker, what happens? Yeah. It didn't bother me as bad because I was like. Oh, okay. This is gonna happen. You yeah. know, does that make sense? Like yeah, I wasn't. I, I, I like Condine took that all away from me. Okay. <laughs> in, the, in episode seven, so like when it when this happened in this one, I was like, kind of more prepared for. I it. was more prepared for it, <laughs> and I wasn't. I w I didn't. I felt bad because it was still like, oh my god, it's Luke Skywalker. But yeah. at the same time. The way it went down, I was like, you know, I was at peace with it, kind of yeah. like how they said he was. Yeah, exactly. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. That's, and that's how I felt. Yeah. Yeah, I was at peace with what happened. Yeah. And um, I we'll get into that, but I liked. Um, did you like the little animals? The what were they? Porgs. The porgs. Or, I, it, did you like those yeah, guys? Yeah. I thought they were kind of cool. You know. I know that I know they were annoying. <laughs> they were well, they were like annoying in the trailers and everything. And they were. It seemed like they were building. I don't know if they were really building up to be annoying, but when you saw them in in the movies, they were really cool. They were really cute. Do I they thought, like Jar Jar Binks for you. <laughs> well, I thought they were. He likes Jar Jar. That's yes, I that. do. And the <laughs> thing is, I thought they were adorable. But the thing is, at the time, I really didn't understand what purpose they were serving. A, a girl I was, uh, I've been chatting with recently. She explained to me, but I can't remember what she said. I enjoyed the bomb was when Chewie was getting yeah. ready to eat one, and yeah. he <laughs> did that. And he was like. And then, the, and then the one had like the big dog puppy yeah, eyes, the puppy dog and, then eyes. and so that's the one. He, that's the one he took on the money and fucking <laughs> yeah. with him. I think they're cute though. They are. Cute. No. I, I thought. What are you it, saying, though? Go ahead. Finish what you're saying. No, you basically summed it up like you explained. Even what you explained it was just like, oh, okay. I just, I'm just gonna go say they're cute, and that's as far as it goes. I really didn't see much of a purpose, but yeah, they're cute. You know. I just, I just felt they were just, you know, a creature in the Star Wars universe, yeah. to, just to. Established that it's it's not our universe, you know. Yeah, fair it's, so, it's something different. I, I, yeah, I didn't see I didn't see him as I don't understand what why anyone would have a problem with him. It's just like okay, here's a creature, you know, something like I don't I don't know. Um, I'm I, blanking. But that. I, I like the but, scene that was funny. I just with Chewie was funny. Oh, I just yeah, thought yeah, that yeah. was an enjoyable I, scene. I, I did I did like the creatures. It's in a, the it, there's background creatures, so yeah. yeah. Was, I mean, what about the the what about the crystal foxes. Those things were cool. They look cool. They, they look, were a little cool looking. I did like. But them. again, there's, there's and then there was characters. the creatures that were like horse, like that were horse, horse like races. horse yeah. like creatures on that 
on the planet with a the lot of casino. people complained about those. I like they were those like things. too CGI. Or I, I, I like, like them I all. Were, I thought they were cool. Looking. I like them all. I, mean, I, I really thought they were cool. And looking. what about Green Harvest, where he harvests the the, the green milk. milk? It was supposed to be like a rep, like blue milk from Banthas yeah. and green milk from whatever these creatures yeah. are. I that was see, a lot of people said, "Oh, that's gross" or something. I just saw it as they were explaining how Luke survived on this island. Yeah, yeah, long, yeah so. to kill one of those fishes. Yeah, fish. So I didn't have a problem with it. So. The one thing I like, I did talk to you guys about. It was the casinos. It was a it was it called Cato Bright or mm, yeah. I think that's the name. I, I didn't dislike it totally, but I thought they had way too much of they that. Went on too long. I think they went on too long in the casino. I don't think it was this much of importance mm. to this movie as I thought it was cool, but it could have been better if they would have showed so much of it for me. Mm. I thought it dragged a little bit too long I, with the casino. Scene. I like the scene a lot. The only thing, and my friend brought this up, but I think he had a good point. It just it didn't really have enough of a galactic feel to it. It just looked like a standard casino. But other than that, I liked the scene. I thought it was a great scene, actually. I like how BB had all, all the coins. That yeah. was funny. <laughs> yeah, that was All cool. that guy was kept putting the coins. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. little uh, gremlin guy. Yeah, I think that was, was actually um, uh, Warwick Davis. Yeah, Warwick Davis was yeah. in uh, so it. So well, for that scene, I wanted to say, you know, what? I felt, you know, what they were doing was, I think that DJ character yeah, first. Yeah, let's talk, I, about, let's I, talk I, about DJ. I think he'll uh, come... Have a big part in the in the next. I, I think I think he's the Lando. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, feel I know Lando. Lando. Change like I know Lando had a change of heart. I know in this movie DJ just took the first orders uh, deal. Are you talking about Benicio del Toro's yeah, yeah, character? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 just took the deal, but I feel like yeah, he'll maybe he'll come back oh, and realize what what, I what he'll do because <laughs> actually in actually that's how um, Lando was kind of like in well, Rebel too. In, yeah. Han was like yeah, scumbag until he... Yeah, he's a until smuggler he, too. They were all kind of yeah. like that. So yeah. kinda, he's but, kind of yeah. sm smuggler. So, so for, for me, the importance of that casino scene was to set up that, they, that these people sold weapons to both sides... But yeah, I I, I, I like that because it, it, it kind of... Well, yeah, you're, you're doing it right now. now. It, it kind of <laughs> shows that there might be a third a faction that we don't know about that's, that's trying to keep this war going so it can be more profitable for them. That's what I thought that was. Well, remember up. he showed there was somebody dealing weapons on the good right. side and the bad That's side. What it said. Maybe it's him. Maybe he. Could, maybe he. Could he, be him. he yeah, he, he knew an awful lot about that time. ship. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was probably well, his ship. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think that's what I'm saying. That's I what know. I was or thinking when he was showing the holograms of the different things. I'm like, this has got to be his ship. Yeah. He's just not saying that to make you because he wanted to get what he wanted to get. I, like I said, I think he's going to have a bigger part let's, in the next let's, possibility. Let's talk about two characters that we know one is definitely going to be coming back in the next movie. And that's, well, she had a very short, limited time, just like she had in the first movie, Captain Phasma. Um, <laughs> it was cool that... Okay, well, first of all, I, like we got to see more of her armor, what it got to do. Like, when they, when they were firing the blasters... The, the beams were were bouncing off of it yeah. and but it was cool to see like like when Finn like bashed her you can see her eyes. like her eye it showed yeah. more of a humanity yeah. it showed her humanity side to her so we know if she comes back in the next movie she's gonna have probably like a scar maybe like, we don't know about that. I don't yeah. think they're gonna knock Phasma out that I mean, uh, that's, that's, well, it's, it's well, kind of bad because it's kind of it's like a, a third she survived a third death yeah know? I don't yeah. I don't see her surviving that I mean she <laughs> Jeez. I know until she I, got melted up in the. I, yeah, I'm gonna be disappointed if they bring her back. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really want to see her anyway. But I think they want to bring her back because they want to show more of a human yeah. side to her. I think that's what they're trying to build up. And they they kind of set up like there's something between her and Finn, but they don't really explain. They didn't go. Well, like, she's pissed because he's a traitor. Right. Yeah. Well, but, yeah. I mean, but I I feel like but I feel like Finn. She had maybe abused Finn or something like that. Like she was hard on him, on him for some reason. I don't know. Wow. I, I feel she he he's angry at her for some reason. Like FN two one nine seven. Yeah. That's all she calls him. Right. Um. I don't know. I don't agree. I I don't see her coming back. But if she does, I don't know how. What do you think do about it. her character, Russell? First of all, I was not happy that a character that I really liked. Basically, everything you saw in the trailer is what they had in the movie. She was yeah. barely in it this time. Like, I think less this time than she was last time. I'm like, really? 
Um, essentially, I see what Jay is saying. They might bring her back for for the next movie. We shall see. The thing is, like I said, we really don't know how they're going to be proceeding with the next movie, and that's kind of you know what makes it harder for for me to state you know where I really place this one because like. Unfortunately, a lot is really basing on the direction that they're taking it, and even right now they said they're not entirely sure. I mean, granted, they always made them up as they went along, but this one really seems up in the air now, especially mm -hmm. after the death of Carrie Fisher. What do you think about that scene where she was fully in space, and she... Do you think she was using the Force? Do you think... Well, I mean, she does have the Force in her. Do you think she, she was using the Force in that scene? I, mean, I want to hear what Ross has to say about that <laughs> before I make a comment. You know, the weird thing is... I know what Tony is like further elaborate on that scene for me, and to this day, I just, I don't know, just something feels very off about that scene to me. Just something to me seemed weird about. It. I I know it's just supposedly a shield surrounding her, but just the idea of watching her just pull herself towards the ship, I just I don't. I don't know if I, if, like, it came out of the realm of believability to me. Yeah, I know, for a Star Wars movie, <laughs> but just, I, I really couldn't buy the scene that easily. Just something about it, just, it just took me out a little bit, and I couldn't get into that scene in particular. What do you guys think about, did you guys think with Leia that, were you think, were you anticipating, because of Carrie Fisher's, you know, demise last year, do you think she was gonna die? Do no. You think there, was there, gonna... there are several scenes there... where I did think she was. Gonna yeah, die. there no. was. I thought she was done in the space. I mean, scene. I mean, yeah, yeah, because Admiral Akbar, he was, he's gone. He's gone. Mm -hmm. He was killed yeah. in that scene, and she. Yeah. I thought she was dead too, but I was like saying, "Well, no." I mean, I felt bad. Admiral, Admiral Akbar died. Yeah. But the thing is, I was like, "No." He was one of my favorite characters. I love him. He was awesome. Yeah. It's a trap, you know. <laughs> Yeah, but um, you yeah, just imagine the next one's gonna be about there. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So anything else about? I, I, I want to comment because I wanted to hear what Ross had to say about. Hey, Ross, I actually agree with what you what you had to say. Are you shocked by that? No, I I was. When she was floating out there, I'm like, okay, she's gone. That's yeah. that was my first thought of it. Yeah. I was like fine with it because I know she's not gonna be in the next one. I was fine with it, but when I seen her do this. I was like, okay. Yeah, that's exactly the reaction I had. I, I mean, I know, like, I, I agree with you. I know she has the force and everything, <laughs> but I just, I don't know. That that kind of threw me. I was like, okay. And then she's in a coma. Yeah. And Luke's like, Leia. And she's like, Luke. And then she wakes up. And it's like, I thought that was a little forced. I really <laughs> did. I, I really I thought that it. was a little forced. That was, and, and you know, you guys know I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and, yeah. and, and for me to say that, that says a lot. What, what, like I said, I wanted to hear what Russ had to say before I made a comment. What so. about the scene where you saw... Oh, I wanted to comment on this. Okay. Uh, I thought that was excellent. I love that last scene. Well, first, for me, because we got to see Leia use the Force. Mm -hmm. I was like, finally we get to see that. I was, uh, you know, I wish maybe it was something a little bit cooler than that, but I was like, at least we get to see her use, happy, use yeah. the force, and people was like, "Oh, she looked like Superman flying." I was not to me. To me, it was like I was telling Russell, she was grabbing the ship. It's, it's just like Luke when he grabs for his lightsaber. Only you know, since this ship is much bigger, the yeah. the, the, the ship kind of pulled. Since she's smaller, the ship pulled Pull her, her. In, into it, and you know, they kind of pulled but, each other. But so. you said she never seen her use the force. She's used the force several times. Well, yeah, but I mean, not in that. When, not when in the Han died, she used the force because right. she sensed when she he was sensed dead. It, yeah. yeah, but that's when the... Luke was on return, when the Death Star blew up, yeah. Luke wasn't. She knew Luke wasn't on it because she used the force. Right. I mean, I get what you're saying. Like you actually for physically that, seen that, her use. That's the, force. the one thing yeah. that got me. That Luke did not realize that Han was dead when she, when when Ray had yeah. to explain to him. I'm well, like, well, saying no because he said he cut himself off from the force. Oh yeah, true. True. So what do you think about the? See, I think the reason why why the, this Finn and Rose dynamic is happening is remember. Remember that big heroic thing Finn did at the end there and Rose had to save him? And I thought in that scene Rose was, was a goner, but the same thing where Rose mm -hmm. now is in the same situation as Finn mm -hmm. was in Finn in was Force in, Awakens. Yeah. But now they're probably going to be a pair, and now it's building up that Kylo and Rey yeah. are going to become a pair at some yeah. point. I have a feeling that Rey is going to eventually pull him away from the dark side. It may not be easy. Wait a minute. 
But <laughs> wait a minute. Or it's gonna be the other way around. How do you know she's not gonna go dark side? Exactly. It could be it could it could You be. don't know. None of be nobody that's what I'm saying. There's more questions now right. than yeah. there is answers. A big question is to Snoke, is he really dead? Yeah. Well, he's, he's dead, gone. he's dead. Dude, he With sliced him up like a do hamburger. Think, do, you, do you think that they'll have a backstory for Snow? Well, tech, here's one of the reasons I said you got to rewatch the movie because there is an Easter egg somewhat explaining it, but you had to be paying attention, and I didn't know that until I read one of his rings. Yep, the and ring it, 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 it 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 implied that he was of the he was of the uh, the people that Darth Plagueis was. Doesn't mean he was. He was just of the. He just had some connection to him. Oh, so yeah. it was. So there was there. But you, again, you had to be paying attention. They had that indication for Snoke, is my understanding from what I because I've done a little bit of research. Yeah. Yeah, the that he was around when the Republic was around. He was around when the Empire I mean he's been around that whole time. Yeah. So he had to know Sidious. He yeah. had to know maybe like he said Darth Plagueis. He knew who Darth Vader was because he's mentioned him several yeah, times. Yeah. yeah he, so he knows he might not be a Sith. Maybe he was an Inquisitor. Yeah. But he wears the ring of a Sith. Maybe is a Sith he, ring. But maybe the he, ring that he's he, talking about is the had Sith. a rock from Mustafar. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So he knew what Mustafar was, or what the significance of Mustafar was. I wanted to see a little bit about well, where does Snow come from? Yeah. Maybe we'll what find was out he about? Next movie. I hope so because yeah, that's what I'm I have more questions than answers, and that that bugged me because. I was anticipating answers in this one. But and I didn't the, get that. Uh, you did with the ring, though. The ring, the ring does give yeah, some. Yeah, it did give some away. And but thing, a lot of people didn't see that. I know, which is why... Is, see, this this is a movie to me... <laughs> like, I, you know, look. You left The Force Awakens and you're like, Oh, God, it feels just like Star Wars again. This, this movie... It's throwing you in a different direction, knowing that uh, n this is what they need to do to move on. To move mm -hmm. on. So the fr while Force Awakens was sort of like not only refreshing it but comfort food for those who are fans, this one, this is moving you away from the comfort food. This they need to move things on. As even Kylo Ren was winking to the audience when he said to Ray, he said, "You need to forget the past and move on." Yeah. Really and then, pretty now, much. Now, here's the question: I mean, We're talking about all these things amongst us. We know that J.J. Abrams has taken over for episode 9. That's uh, already... Right. Now, is he going to go... I mean, obviously, he's got to go off of what Ryan Johnson right. just did. But is he going to... What direction are they yeah, going to go right. in? That's the question. Right. I mean, I'm, it, I'm I, intrigued I, I, by what he's going to do. Honestly, I don't envy him because I'm like... Yeah. They painted him into a corner. He's, like, he's got Well, there was a guy that was supposed to do it, but they didn't like the direction he was going to do. So J.J. Mm -hmm. Abrams had to pick up you the pieces. Know. Maybe he'll talk. He'll work with Ryan Johnson. He on should. It. Yeah. That's what I think he should. Do. I so, think they should write it together. The that would be a like, great idea. Yeah. So what do you think about like with Ray? Like, how, what do you think about Snoke? I mean, I mean, I don't know if well, Snoke said he was manipulating Ray yeah. and it's Kylo. Kind of, you know, because they can, like, we know that you can talk to each other using the Force, but they were actually, like, he was able to, even though after he died, they were able to still project each other, but they were to, able to project each other to see, because, like, like, remember there was a scene where he wasn't wearing a, a shirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This was new. Uh, actual... Like, they were in the room together, yeah. but they weren't. Yeah, and when um, he was reaching out... And, like, in the past movies, you'd, like, Vader would be like, Luke, and he's like, Father. You know, it's like, but they weren't, it didn't show him in the same room, per se, right. like they did in this one. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. I like that. I awesome. That just shows their connection yeah. Yeah. in the Force. <clears throat> and, um, more, and, and obviously, she's as strong in the Force as he is. Yeah. I mean, that's a good That's a good uh, given with yeah. that. And, do, do you agree, Russ? Yeah. And do you think they're going to end up being together? Like, you know, it would be cool to see them together. I, well, speaking of Ray and Luke and uh, Kylo together, that was one of my favorite scenes was when uh, they fought the Praetorian Guards together. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, my God. That oh, was yeah, so right, That was cool. Oh, where she grabs his lightsaber. Yeah. I love that scene. I've told Russ how much I love I that scene. Well, the whole time I'm watching that, I keep thinking... So what's going to happen now that yeah. Snoke has been taken Snoke out? That's like, all I was thinking the whole time. Snoke's like, kill the one you... That was awesome. Kill your worst enemy, yeah. 
Yeah, and that scene with the Praetorian, yeah, that whole fight scene it, was pretty epic. It, yeah. In a way, from The Force Awakens, because I rewatched it before I went and watched Last Jedi, Kylo Ren to me, I, I'm not surprised that he did that. I'm not. No. I, I'm not uh, surprised that he took over because but he's you, a spoiled but, but, brat. But you right. saw how and he's unstable. And here's, he's unstable. Here's the problem with Snoke. You saw how overconfident he was. He was yeah. like, he was like, was like he like wasn't even right. feeling like the fact. Oh, this lightsaber is turning. It ignited and sliced me in half. He was so full of himself that he didn't realize that. Because you yeah. would think he would be much smarter, especially what you said before, Jason. Well, how much I'm not, I'm not, amount of time he's been around? Yeah. But that's probably why, because he's been around it so long. He's just because he's just, more full yeah, and full. Just, and full. Just follows himself well, and he didn't pay well, any attention. Well, it's just like Luke said about the Emperor, your overconfidence is your, your weakness. weakness. But yeah. do remember, yeah. there and was, he didn't see Vader throwing him in the yeah, pit. So. And that's very similar to yeah. how, it was a very similar a parallel to yeah, how so. uh, how Vader threw uh, Sidious into the pit. That's yeah. how, how Kylo threw, uh, sliced. And like, I'm, again, I'm going to go with so. what Russ says, Kylo Ren's unstable, we know this. Yes. And if, if you look Throughout the other movies, because I mean, like I said, these are all connected one way or another. Yeah. yeah. What did in Episode Three, when Anakin's talking to Padme, what's he say? We can rule the universe and right. make it the way we want to. Yeah. yeah he he never he, got to do that. He Vader did not get to do yeah, that. Yeah, but Kyle was telling Kyle says, Ren is taking it one step further. Says, My grandfather we, didn't get to do this. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. Yeah. And he's telling and I can Ray, see why I, they're going that direction. Yeah, isn't he telling Ray like you can join me? Yeah. You want to join? Yeah. Dude, oh, he's like Bert. You know, Jedi, Sith, burn it all down. Oh, yeah, start, yeah. Start, start over. Start, he just yeah. wants to start from the beginning. Which, uh, honestly, is not a bad idea. <laughs> and actually, I'm glad that's, you mentioned... Yeah, they should. <laughs> I'm actually glad you mentioned that because I'd like to get into something that a lot of people have been complaining about, and I hate to say it, I think it goes along perfectly, actually. A lot of people are complaining about the fact that... Um, Laura Dern's character knew some plan and she didn't relay it to Poe and everyone's saying, well, they could have avoided all this. Folks, I want you to think back to all the Star Wars movies. Think about, first of all, what Luke said to Rey about how Darth Sidious uh, created the Empire right underneath the Jedi Council. Then at the end of... Um, of ret at the, after Return of the Jedi, beginning of Force Awakens, uh, they're once again right up directly against all in odds in conflict with with those that rose up from the Empire. So First Order is right up against the Resistance again. Then at the end, uh, at the beginning of Last Jedi, after at the end of Force Awakens, when uh, they were still you know at e at equal odds, the First Order has almost completely taken over. What does it say to me? The Republic and the Resistance are borderline incompetent, and basically they get by with dumb luck, okay? That's what I think it boils down to. And the reason I'm bringing this up is what they were Here's the thing. Do you realize if... Seriously, uh, Supreme Leader Snow, Kylo Ren, they could just sit on their asses twirling their thumbs, do nothing, the Republic would destroy itself. The fact that they're even making the attempt and... Kylo's instability is probably what's going to destroy the First Order. They don't have to do anything, because look how badly the Republican, the Resistance screw up so often. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, it's like, we like them because we know they're aiming for good, but to quote Dark Helmet, evil will prevail because good is dumb. <laughs> In a way, if you look at this movie, we had, we had Force Awakens and Rogue One that just came out before this movie. You look at Rogue One, for instance. Um, what's her, what's her, what she said is, rebellions are built on hope, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This movie's reflection of that. They're mm -hmm. trying to, uh, to get their friends out in the outer rim. We don't know how many people they have out there. They could have a lot more than you think. Right. Well, I think there are people out there. And and again, that's what this is stemming from. I mean, I think in the next movie, you're basically going to see. You know, Poe and Ray and all them are just going to recruit people yeah. and they're going to fight this big old battle with the First Order where Kylo Ren is going to be, his whole thing is going to be, I got to get to Ray. Just like Vader was obsessed with Luke after he, you know, found out that Luke Skywalker was the one that blew up the, the Death Star. Yeah. So I think there's going to be some parallels in Episode 9 that are going to be like that. The, you know, the, the First Order. Is still the first order. 
They were they were they were called the resistance, like Russ said. Now I think they're going to be called the rebellion again. Hmm. It's going to come yeah. back to be in the rebellion. Well, yeah, because the newer poets. There is no the first, like he said, the first what, order has taken over. That means they have everything. We didn't really talk about her as Rose. Mm -hmm. We should talk about Rose because she was. I understand she kind of came out of nowhere, but in a sense, she really. I mean, yes, and no. Remember, first of all. We saw her sister Paige at the beginning on the bomber. She's the one who dropped the bombs on the... The bombers were cool, by the way. I thought those were cool. On the, um... I thought the battle in general was cool. What, yeah. was, that, what was that Star Destroyer called? The, the, the Dreadnought, I think. The Dreadnought. Dreadnought. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, she was the... Because with Poe's cockiness... To, yeah, that was the thing. We'll get to Poe in a second, too. Um, with Poe's cockiness, he kind of really... I mean, yes, they won, but he really did a number to, to the uh, re to the um, resistance with yeah. destroying all the destroying all the Russ bomber. had it right on that one. He was air his arrogance cost him a bunch of people. Right. Exactly. At least Paige was able to. She had to sacrifice herself, but she was the last. She had to. She was the last. Bomber. Yeah. I mean, if she wouldn't have done that. They were in trouble. Yeah. So what do you think about Rose? Yeah, I really liked Rose. I think her her connection with Finn was very well. I know she had to give up that medallion to DJ, even though he, even though there was a little. See, that's why I think he might be loyal because he did end up giving it back to her. See, I don't think he's all that bad. I just think he took the deal at the time. But like right. he says, I think he's going to play a bigger part in right. Right. in the next movie. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you know, but it's that li one little thing that makes him shine. <clears throat> But it's gonna take more for a lot for a bigger audience to 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 realize that he's actually probably better. He probably has a good heart. He's just it just needs to evolve. Like, but but back to Rose. So what do you guys? I'm think glad you actually mentioned Rose because there was something I wanted to say about that. When I was t I was talking with my friend via text and he told me he did not like Rose at all, and I suddenly realized something the minute he said that. I've been coming, to, and it seems like, when, and he was getting into a lot of specific details about it, and I actually am now starting to do what I used to attack a lot of Star Wars fans for doing, and that is giving a lot of people a free pass and not noticing this or that problem. Now you may ask, well, Russell, why would you be doing that if, if that's what you used to do? Because I really like the direction Disney's taking all this, and the thing is I think they're giving characters and story depth that never really had it before, and because of that... I actually liked Rose a lot. I mean, I liked her her go get him attitude. Charisma. You know, she just goes forward, does what and does what she has to do, and I really like that aspect. Yeah, she has very good charisma. <laughs> yes. And, you know. My whole thing with her is, I just she just come out, and I didn't yeah, really have. You don't get to know her. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a connection we'll, we'll, with her. We'll, I mean, I thought she was okay with right. what she did. But I, I feel like, but we'll probably get to know her in the next. Oh well, yeah, she's not definitely. She's gonna be a main. Yeah. Well, she was. I, I, my thing with her is I liked her, but she had a couple of lines that I thought was really corny. Like uh, when she takes the saddle off of the, those creatures, she's like, oh, now we have made had a purpose. I'm like, okay. A Star Wars <laughs> fan complaining about corny lines? <laughs> <laughs> and she, How when, dare you? When she's like, oh, we, we gotta... We don't have. We shouldn't fight what we hate. We should, we should fight for what we love. I'm like, <laughs> I repeat. <laughs> but but other, other than those couple of lines and stuff, I I did like her though. Let's talk about Finn and Poe since we since you know we talked about Poe a little bit. We talked about Finn a little bit. But what do you think about what do you think about their characters from The Force Awakens <laughs> to? The Last Jedi. I liked him then, and I liked him now. I think Finn was more of a badass in this movie. I mean, yeah, I, I think both of them were. I think both of them. I think I think both of them were more. Finn grew as a character. Yeah, yeah. 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 I he think grew as a character in this one. And Poe was definitely a badass. I know he, you know, he he didn't follow direct orders from Leia or Admiral. What was her name? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know Laura Dern will call her. Oh, yeah, just yeah, Laura Dern's character. That's, that's, yeah, her See, character. I, I didn't, yeah, to get to, well, since you brought her up, I, I didn't like her. No, neither did I. Very I, much I, at all. I really I didn't care about, I mean, I did like that last resort she had yes. to do. And, and, and what do you think about that, that last resort? Epic. Oh, so that yeah. was cool. Even though there's theaters now. That's so. why I enjoyed about her. Yeah. It's like, she was like, you know, screw like, it. She's like, like screw Miss Marty Pants the whole time, and all of a sudden it's like, whoa. It's like a, it's like a She just grew a big brass pair, you know? <laughs> and I, I mean, that's what I liked about her. I yeah. mean, like, there wasn't much of her, but that part was cool. Yeah. yeah. So. So, and 
I was like, I was like, I was like the people that Russell was talking about. I was like, if her and Poe just talked, we could have avoided this whole mess. But they wouldn't because of the resistance. What do you uh, expect? That, that was my biggest problem with the whole movie. I was like, oh, well, come on. then don't. Why do you like Star Wars? Welcome to everybody in the freaking galaxy. And now let's talk about the one character that we should we need to talk about. You know who I'm talking about. Who would that the be? Little green. My favorite part of the movie. Your favorite character. My favorite part of the movie little was green. with him. Yoda. Oh, Yoda. 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 Oh! I said the little green, the little okay. green. That would be like Karen, yes. Oh, that was an epic reveal. He, I, mean, I was shocked. Yeah. But see, like, I was sitting here and I'm like, oh my God. Because I seen his ear poking up over the screen. I'm like, oh my gosh, Yoda. You know, my wife's like, where? And I said, he's right there. You know, and I was just like, I smiled instantly when I seen him Same because here. nobody said anything about him being in. There wasn't a peep about him. I heard that maybe Obi Wan might show up or Anakin might show up. I heard all that. Not a peep about Yoda. I was totally shocked about him being in this movie, and I loved it. Of course, it. Yoda, oh, so had, Yoda had to give his advice to Luke again, just like before. But yeah, it was great. And what did he say? I told you pass on what you have learned. I mean, he he basically told him you were being dumb right now yeah. you know he, he got on to him like he did See? back in Dagobah and I loved like Luke is just about to burn the hut and then Yoda's like either do or do not <laughs> and he just yeah. does it himself <laughs> I love that the and, he's, and then he's just laughing and, ah! <laughs> knowing that he's like loser <laughs> and that's the thing he said Ray already had the knowledge you know why because she took the books Right. Mm. she took all the books before she left Yeah. she doesn't need that she Yoda doesn't... knew but Luke didn't yeah so, true. Yeah. And, and and Yoda's like, you know, the, he's also like, okay, the, that's, the books, trees, those aren't anything. The force is within the people, you know, and yeah. between everything. But and I think, what, I, what the, and, and, and the know, lesson I think he was teaching Luke here was it, open uh, himself to the force. Well, not again. just that, but the, the old ways weren't working. They yeah. kept losing people. You know, yeah. they lost Anakin. Yeah. They lost Ben Obi Solo. Mm -hmm. That's basically what the whole premise of this was. The Jedi are no more. The Jedi as we knew it is no more but because yeah, they're and, not the and, same. And, anymore. He has, and he's like, he's like slapping him in the face and saying, "No, the Jedi Order cannot end. You have to. It has to continue with your, you know, your, your predecessor. But your it's continuing, your but not the old way. Yeah. That's yeah. what they were going for. He needs to succeed with Ray, but even, Ray, but needs to become a different. Exactly. That's what Yoda capable. meant. That's, She's capable of it, whereas the uh, the previous ones all failed. Because the Luke's that, lesson to her, he was talking about the old stuff that happened. And that's why Palpatine and his father becoming Darth yeah. Vader, because the old way was not working. Yeah, that's the what force. That's, I mean, that's what he had to come out and, like, he had to confront Kylo, even though it was just well, a projection. He had to say, like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how who I am. Why do you think you saw the, the barrage of, of lasers? And then he just goes, like, yeah, And the other thing is, Kylo Ren was scared to death of him. Yes, he was. <laughs> he was scared to like, death. Fire Because <laughs> he knows. He knew Luke would, could kill him. Yeah. Of anybody he was afraid of, it was Luke, and he knew that. Yeah. Yeah. But, again... And, and the whole premise of this movie, why it's called The Last Jedi, because Luke was the last Jedi. Yeah. Because the Jedi, I don't even know if you can call them Jedi anymore. What are you going to call them? The four, they're Force users? Yeah. I don't know. Because the old way was not working. Yoda realizes that. That's why he's telling him. Yeah, hey, like Yoda said all the knowledge is right there, but not good reading material it is, he said. Yeah. Because... He, that old way was not working. Didn't, didn't look even says I like, just skimmed a couple pages mm -hmm. or whatever. And it's obvious that like Ray is so in tune with the force. She she really didn't have much training, but she's moving rocks and she's and maybe doing she all wants, this maybe stuff. she wants the books. Maybe she wants to learn about well, the I'm Jedi sure. ways. And, I'm she, sure. and, and maybe she'll maybe she'll open up a Jedi she Academy. Needs to, Academy. But, and she needs to do it in her own way, yeah. not the way maybe that the Jedi had been doing yeah. it because, because it wasn't working. Exactly. If well, and, and it extends from, I don't know if you've watched Star Wars Rebels at all. I've watched two episodes and I like them, but I just never really have a lot Asa of time to get Tono, you know yeah, who she is. Yeah. I know of Ahsoka okay, Tono. Okay, Ahsoka Tano, I never say her name right, but she was Anakin's apprentice. She left the Jedi Order. Well, last season in Rebels, and I hate to give this away if you mm -hmm. haven't seen it. I've, I've, I'm she faces up. Darth Vader. Yes. She knows that it's Anakin. Yes. She faces him. 
And he says something about the Jedi Order. She goes, I'm no Jedi. She's got silver lightsabers. White or white. Or white or whatever they are. Yeah. White or silver. And basically, she's saying, I'm not light. I'm not dark. I'm right in the middle. And they've been introducing a lot of these characters in Star Wars Rebels. These guys mm. that are in the middle. Yeah. They're not dark side. They're not light side. I kind of think that this is where they're going with this. Yeah. That, yeah, Kylo Ren is dark side but, but he has some good in him yeah. he didn't kill his mom he killed snoke i mean not the, yeah but but Han. the thing is you know he had the chance to blast her and he didn't do it because he knew she was on the ship you've seen it yourself he yeah. didn't do it he hesitated yeah. me has well, well he hasn't you know, anybody even do it and you brought up a good point i mean i already saw in the first movie how conflicted he was emotionally Adam Driver really drove it home here with oh, just he that complaint. And my God, I mean, for everyone who, like, we have a friend who calls him Galo Ren, which I think <laughs> is idiotic. But I'm like, no, when you, here's the thing. What you saw in episode three, no, that's not a conflicted kid. That's really bad directing from George Lucas. This is conflicted. Yeah, the he, way Adam Driver plays it, that's conflicted. Yeah. And I like, I, I like in the episode <clears throat> seven, Force Awakens, I was kind of like, he's pretty good. You know, he's not bad. But in this one, I agree with Russ. He really hit a home run. Yeah. You could feel the tension with him. Yeah. Like, he's like, I don't want to do this, but I have to. Right. I have to. I have to do it right now. But then there's parts of him, like, you know, you're like, he's like, I'm not going to. Because, like I said, he didn't kill Leia. Do any of those things, you know. But, like, I, I got to agree with Russ on this. I, I think... He did hit a home run with it. I, yeah. I, I, he's like becoming one of my favorite characters in the new series. I really I enjoy his speak, performance. Speaking of good performance, Mark Hamill <coughs> knocked it out of the park for me, anyways. Oh, he was great, yeah. yeah he was fantastic. His final grade, too. Okay, mine is going to be pending, but for now, it's, <laughs> it's going to be a pending A. And the reason I say that is because, again, I think I need to see it again, and I kind of need to see where they go with it, but... It's a game changer, folks, and I think over time we're really going to go to appreciate it a lot. I, okay, I'm going to be honest. When I came out of the movie, I was, I don't want to say I was disappointed, but I don't want to say I was one of those people on Rotten Tomatoes that the audience was, like, giving me, like, a 50-something. I enjoyed the movie, but I think over time, discussing it with my friends and discussing it with you guys... Um, it really started to, I started to appreciate it more. And I, my original grade was going to be a B, but it's, it's actually grown to like around an, an A as well. It's really grown because I see more, and this was a movie that made you come out thinking. A lot yeah, of, yeah. more of this other Star Wars movies, it was right in your face, it was there. Yeah. You know, this one really made you have to really think agreed yeah what do you think jason do you think the same thing you had to really think I, about I, we, oh yeah i mean and this is all we've been <laughs> discussing this whole time i it's it was a star wars movie but it was different yeah it, different. it had a different feel it did, to have, it. It did have feelings um, of empire and, and return and, it, it and had return some similarities return. but it wasn't overwhelming yeah, yeah. not like um, not like not like the first one and like i said i left with more questions than answers which which bothered me because i wanted so many answers answered but um I'm never going to give a Star Wars movie a bad grade anyway. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I give this movie a solid A. I, yeah. I think, like we've been talking about, it's going in a different direction, which it needs to, because there's only so many times you could do these stories. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's a little bit refreshing. I mean, I, like I said, the, the casino scene could have been a little less than for me. I don't think they were... I mean, it was cool at first, but I think they showed way too much of it, in my opinion. That that was the one thing I didn't care for. I loved Yoda's cameo. Yeah. I I loved the action sequences. The bombing run was awesome in the beginning. And the, the, um, the Victorian guard fight. Yeah, that was cool. Um, and then those. I was a little disappointed with not finding out who the hell Snoke was, but I mean, I to have my. To a point, face. we did. To yeah, a to point. point. And well, maybe in the next movie. We'll like I said, I noticed that ring run. I'm like. So I did not when I was being like I, I, oh, oh, rock I, I, on his oh, finger. One thing I loved I really liked was like how Ray I'm I'm hoping Kyle was telling the truth about how Ray really yeah. does come from nothing because You already mentioned was, that. Yeah. I think I don't think I mentioned But it. But, but but here's the thing. Let, let's go with I'm gonna go with what you're saying here in a minute and you can go <laughs> with this too. It's a point of view. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Kylo Ren was touching her, she was touching him. She seen something different than he did. Did he? Did she not? Right. He or could he, be lying, or yeah. that could be his version of what he saw. Yeah, it was like the whole thing. It doesn't with necessarily this, this mean the whole it's thing the truth. With the, with the Jedi Temple too, mm, yeah, exactly. What's like Luke? And that could be his take on it, <laughs> like you said. His interpretation. Kylo Ren's version of what happened was totally different than what Luke said. Like right. I said, when I seen Luke and Kylo's vision, he looked like he was like dark side and ready just to murder him. <laughs> <laughs> but then the other version of it, it was he, he was just like you know, well, good man. Luke, you know. Yeah. Um, again. Certain point of view, yeah, and that's this movie even goes with that even more so. Mm. Really, we'll point see, of we'll, view. We'll see what happens in the next movie. Tones. Tones. Um. Yeah, I would like to say that you know I liked it better than Force Awakens. Whoa. Yeah, I like you know <laughs> I thought. Well, Force Awakens was one of those where it's like. They're just kind of reintroducing you know, to the series, and they don't want to. They didn't want to take risks and stuff. And this one take took more risks. Oh yeah, absolutely. And yeah, I it was it. Force Awakens was was too much like like uh, uh, New Hope, and where this one was a lot like. Well, no, I don't want to say a lot, but it had similarities to um, Return of the Jedi. I mean, I mean, um, Empire oh, Strikes Back, oh, but it wasn't. Too much like Empire. They weren't. They weren't back. trying to play it. They weren't trying to play it as safe as they did yeah. with, with Force Awakens. Uh, but I am. But I, yeah. but I am glad they 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 did they did do similar. Like I like the yeah. crate scene with the with the ATM sixes. Those were cool. I like those walkers. Like they look gorillas. Those were really yeah. cool walkers. They saw the ATATs that they were small. I just think and it's just, funny how the First Order shows like they have to have bigger balls <laughs> yeah. than the Empire, you know? And, and then everything's everything four times the size of the Empire. And they had to have like and they had to have like a they're overcompensating. Yeah, they had to have something's they, telling me. And they had to have a small Death Star cannon, yeah, yeah like yeah. that kind of you know, but, that's uh, okay. Why have a Death Star when we can have a big planet that blows yeah. stuff up, you yeah, know? Exactly. So I just thought they did something different with this one and like I said, I'm usually the first one to not like um, something different. You know, I'm, I'm usually the first one. Oh, that would just ruin my childhood. But this one, for some reason, it, it, worked. it worked for me. Um, and you know, I, 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 and everything that didn't answer, it, I didn't have a problem with because I'm like, oh, well, I'll just answer in the next one. Yeah. And. Um, and like you were saying, yeah, I really like that. I really hope that, uh, like, you, exactly like you said, that Ray is a nobody. I, that 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 I don't. I like that for some reason because it makes you feel like uh, fresh start. Yeah, yeah fresh you start. don't. You don't you have know, to have. You, you don't. Know, you don't have to have some a lineage or something. In, in all really fairness, with you saying that too, and I just got to add this because <laughs> I've been thinking about these. Everyone's ever, adding. Ever, no, I'm just saying. That, here, listen, all you guys, it brings a lot to my yeah. mind. Um, the little boy at the end. Yeah, the little boy at the end. Yeah. We know he's force. Yeah. He's got force because he's now he's a nobody. Right, exactly. Like Ray, yeah. supposedly uh, Ray is. And will Jar Jar Binks be in episode nine? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Maybe as a force goes. <laughs> I'll take that over more C three PO, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Are we but um, yeah, today? good. You know that, that that could be like you were saying. Maybe that's the direction you're going because yeah. you're showing the little stable boy now, and he's the lowest of low right. in society on that planet, and he's just like. And what were they were doing? What they were talking the story of Luke Skywalker fighting right. against those first order Imperial Walkers. Well, I can't call them Imperial Walkers, but first order Walkers, right. and basically telling everybody about the the legend of Luke Skywalker. Yeah. So in a way, Luke's did carry on. Right, I mean, it's well, it's like, it's, like, it's like Poe says, uh, you know, we need a spark to, to light, light the fire. fire. Now it yeah. has. And, and Luke was that spark. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Yeah, and, and Or Ray. Ray could be the spark well, as well, too. Yeah, Luke, is the, Luke is the one that is going to inspire people Luke? To, to join. What with, was with Luke the resistance. spark and Ray's the fire? <laughs> okay. Um, Are they gonna play Billy Joel along with that? <laughs> Are they gonna start the fire? <laughs> but um, yeah, they, they they needed an a uh, someone to inspire them, and that that's what Luke yeah. did. And in Luke's scene, death scene, you were yeah. okay with it? Oh yeah. See, I like I was at yeah. peace. I yeah, was yeah, at yeah, peace. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I so. felt 
I felt, you know, a lot of people say, well, we wish that uh, Luke was really there to fight Kylo, which I can see that, and I agree to, to that to the point, but I, I was fine with what yeah, I thought. So yeah, so I, I was, was fine with it. He outsmarted him. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, like I said, Kylo was scared. Oh, yeah. He was oh, scared yeah. to death. Yeah, Fire I, everything in yeah, you! You, could, you, you think we got him? <laughs> yeah, you can see a, after all the smoke cleared and he saw that Luke was there, He's like, he was, he was, yeah, Luke, he was, he was like, oh god, now I gotta fight him? Oh no. Yeah, yeah. I think he wet he, himself. He, yeah, he was, he, he wanted that, that to work, and it, but uh, he did, deep down I knew think, it wasn't And I think a lot to, of people thought like that when they saw Luke there, I mean, I know some people thought, okay, we, some people may not realize the beard and the, the beard, hair, yeah, yeah. and they were like thinking, oh, is he gonna like have a shield or something, he's gonna have to like all these like blazers and blasts, yeah. blasts and stuff like that, whatever it was. But apparently, it and was the, a force projection. And the the fact that you know, like I said, in the next one, he'll be a force ghost. We know that. Yeah, so like, I yeah, was a good so chance. Why, yeah. So why Thank be you. disappointed? I I was like, <laughs> I have a prediction. Okay. He'll be a force ghost in that. Yoda will probably be o in it. Obi Wan, Obi -Wan yeah. will probably be in it, and you'll probably see Anakin. 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 Yeah. The, That's the, my the, prediction. The whole gang. If I'm right, please send me a lot of money, Disney. <laughs> he needs it. But, yeah, so uh, he's got a kid. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, this might actually be my favorite movie of this year. Wow. I, <laughs> you know, so I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna give this movie an A. Wow. I guess we all gave it an A. <laughs> yeah. It's unanimous for different reasons, but it's unanimous all the same. Yeah. Usually well, Ross is I'm the bearer pending. of bad news, but he was good news this time. Well, well, you, well I'm you, still pending, well, though. Well, well, well you're, you're usually the one that has... Yeah, I'm little, a little bit more pessimistic so, than the um, rest. So. I, guess, I guess that's No, you, you're more pessimistic. I'm more cynical. Okay, okay, okay yeah. so, that's, so that's about it. Um, so that's oil it. and water. <laughs> I'm Tony Beers. I'm Jason Case. Russ. Jay. And, and we'll, we'll see you next, next time. time. This video is sponsored by the Crazy Kings of Toys. Check them out for all your toy needs and find out why they are so crazy. Find them on eBay, Bricklink, and Facebook. Links are in the description. For more Toxic Pop, visit our website at toxicpop1.wixsite.com slash toxicpop. Email us at toxicpop1 at gmail.com and check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash toxicpop1 and Instagram at instagram.com slash wearetoxicpop. Links are in the description.